Okay, so this is the pen tool. This is the pen tool, and it's a quick, you know, uh, illustration here of the Apple logo. It's pretty simplistic. Two anchor points, smooth anchor point where you click and you drag handles out, and you go and continue on the contour. I don't want any fill color, so I'm going to get rid of that. And click and drag. I always go to the white arrow prior to using the pen tool. That way, if I hit the command key, it allows me to go back to the white arrow on the fly so I can go and modify the length of handles and therefore modify the contour of the vector without compromising my anchor from a smooth anchor point to a corner anchor point. Just click on that anchor point and just move in the handles. Okay. Pen tool. If I put the pen tool there and you get the slash mark, it means you have to click here to resume your drawing. If I wouldn't have clicked there, I would have started a new path. Okay, beginning of the path, there's a curve. Beginning of the curve I meant. Conclusion of the curve is right here. Beginning of this curve, conclusion of this curve. beginning of this curve, I might be able to get away with this anchor point way over here to get this done. And now this is where I need to change direction abruptly. If I just hit the white arrow and turn, you see what happens. Undo, Command Z. So this is where I'm going to hit the Option key, which is the Quick key for the Convert Anchor Point tool. So Option, click and drag this handle in the direction that I want to create. I want the line to carry on with. So I've got the trajectory planned out. And what happened? I had to go back to this and look for the slash mark. Okay, there it is. Option key to pull the individual handle out. So now this anchor point is a corner anchor point because of the fact that the handles are working independently. There's this. Smooth. I can just click and hold this like I'm doing now. Hit the option key and pull this around beginning of this curve, end of this curve, white arrow to minimize the length of the handle to get the contour to hug, and then circle indicates closing of the shape. And I'm going to go and reposition this and modify this to get this to be just right. And I'm satisfied with this. Eyedropper tool, I'll click on the gray. So now this is a solid filled piece. And then I'm going to go hit the letter P, which is the quick key for the pen tool. And I'm going to click and drag this way. Option key, convert to corner point. And remember the name of the game is to try to get these things drawn with a minimal amount of anchor points in order to keep the cleanliness of your line quality. No dents or dings. Nice, smooth contour. All right, so there's my apple. I'm going to click on the layer palette, and you can see everything's on one layer. I'm going to go here, click a new layer, and what's selected is indicated with the blue dot, which is assigned to this layer, is indicated by that bar there. So there's the blue dot. Since these are already selected, if I click on this, this indicates what's selected. I'll drag it and move it here. Notice it turned to red, and I'm going to lock this because this is the image layer. Double click here and name this image. I have the image locked. Dimming images are going to be helpful if you want to uh, be able to see the image more readily when you're drawing over the top of it. Not so much in this case. So I'll hit OK. Double click on this layer and I'm going to put Apple logo. And uh, if I could spell Apple. Apple logo. And that's that. Now the benefits of a vector versus a raster, let's go and look. Command spacebar is the quick key for the zoom tool. That's the raster. This is the edge contour of the vector. So I put the eyeball out of the image layer so I don't see that. I'm going to hit command A which indicates or select all quick key. 
and you can go and change it into a nice green apple. I can get my selection tool and I can grab this bounding box and if I hit the option and the shift key it constrains movement I can size this up without any loss of line quality command zeros get me centered up in in the uh, page undo undo I'm back to square one command Z if I want to go back to the green it's command shift Z I'd rather go uh, I like the green I'm gonna keep it at that and uh, is there anything that I'm forgetting I think that should do it for now and that's how you draw the Apple logo with the pen tool utilizing the pen smooth anchor points and a couple of corner anchor points strategically placed again to indicate where your line has an abrupt change of direction.